Hey all, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do a da 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 thrift store share. I went shopping um, this morning at my favorite honey hole locally here in New Orleans, and uh, I haven't been in the longest time ever, and it was fabulous. Uh, there was no one there. <laughs> I guess everyone's shopping for electronics and lining up for still Black Friday deals. So I was very excited by that. Um, so it was a wonderful and very pleasant shopping experience. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Denise no, Nola Collectibles. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell primarily on eBay. My store name there is also Nola Collectibles. And I'm also a jewelry enthusiast. So I go out and I buy items at my thrift stores, at antique malls, um, whatever it might be, secondhand garage sales, you have, you name it and I'm there, um, estate sales, that type of thing. And then I go and I resell them on eBay. So I'm going to get right into it, not waste any time. And one of the things I did want to mention, in addition to jewelry, I do look at other things. I try to stay away from hard goods. Um, I have some hard goods, but they take up a lot of space. So I like to stick with jewelry, but you know, the girl in me cannot resist something like a, a vintage uh, purse. So I saw this there and this just caught my eye and uh, I knew right away that this was a Whiting and Davis purse. I have picked up vintage and um, vintage Whiting and Davis purses at my thrift store in the past and I've gotten some really exceptional and beautiful purses from different eras really. So this one just really caught my eye just because it has the beautiful metal in the white. So you know it's got a very kind of like 60s or 70s type of look to it. We've got the gold tone metal and it's got the big bold kind of piece componentry right there. The chain which can be worn short to hand, you know hold in your hand or in the crook of your elbow or if you want to wear it a little bit longer as a shoulder purse you can do that too. And I just I love the fluidity of Whiting and Davis bags. This mesh chain is just something that's just you know, this is what they started doing in the 1800s and they continue to manufacture. This is what they're well known for. And I just love it so much. It just, it feels just gorgeous. <laughs> like it's such a silky, gorgeous feel. And this one is just in really lovely condition. So I definitely was happy to pick up this one and this was $5.99. So that was a lovely little find. Really happy to see that. I also look at scarves. I, I love, I love me a beautiful vintage silk, silk scarf. So let's see, let's get into the jewelry. I think where we're gonna to start today is with some Italian pieces. And I was really happy to find some lovely Italian glass jewelry pieces here. This one I was really excited about uh, because let's zoom in a little bit. This one is a really nice example of a Italian millefiori glass bead making and you know, millefiori meaning thousands of flowers um, where you know they take these kind of glass rods that have kind of it almost looks like there's little tiny flowers in the rod and they cut them and they fuse them together to make really beautiful glass beads and so uh, I love these they're typically strung on a red silk or a, thir a thread you can see that there this one's actually on a yellow and a red you also see these with barrel clasp closures, also very typical. And I, I love this one, it's graduated. I just think it's such a beautiful example. Um, the coloration on this, let's come, I shall come close, I'll just show you and share with you the gorgeousness. Uh, I love the, the colors on this, it's just really extra, super beautiful, I think. Like I said, that orange one with the blue and the red, I just think these are just stunning color combinations in the glass here. Um, so this guy was $4.99 and uh, they were having, I think the blue was 25% off, white and yellow were 50% off. So uh, that was the deals at my thrift store. So that guy, just excellent. And that was hanging on one of the spokes. It was out in the open and uh, snatched that one right up. And so similarly, I also saw this. This was also hanging on the spokes, and this is, again, Italian glass here. And this one is uh, of the Aventurine glassmaking method, which is utilizes uh, copper in the glassmaking process. And that's what you can see, those gorgeous kind of colored flakes in the glass there. And so we have a beautiful translucent glass with the, the copper color flakes and, and then um, a cobalt blue there. And so this one is on a matching blue thread. Hand, these are also typically hand knotted, which is lovely. And I love this one. Oh, just Italian glass all day, every day. So beautiful, is it not? 
Um, something I think I've just come to appreciate handcrafted items more and more the older that I get. And so this one was $2.99. I am not going to pass that up for $3. So grab that one as well. Where should I go next? Let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Do I have any more Italian glass? I don't think that I do. Oh, you know what though? Here's something Italian. Um, this brand is is called Mylore and it's uh, sold, I believe, on QVC. It's a kind of um, home shopping network type of brand. And um, they make different, um, I don't know, how would we classify this? Um, different kind of levels of quality with this type of jewelry. So they will have like Mylore bronze and then they'll have Mylore platinum and, and Mylore blah, 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 whatever it might be. But, you know, kind of in different price points made of different materials um, to suit your budget. So if you may not, you know, be looking to break the bank and you still want a really beautiful kind of crafted piece of jewelry, you would go for the Mylore bronze level, which I believe this is what this is. And so um, really nice in a, is this rose gold? I can't tell. I think this is rose gold. So what we're looking at is a really big, chunky, faceted rose quartz, which I love, is the stone of love. Uh, attraction, romance, all of those things that you would associate with a, what a pink stone could be. And a really big chunky ring and um, in excellent condition. This one appears to not even be, be worn and, and that guy looks like that. So really fabulous there. I love a faceted, very pretty. You can see it's a checkerboard faceting. Really, really lovely there. Big, chunky, gorgeous look. I think this is a great kind of um, ring for casual everyday wear. Just throw that on and you have a fabulous statement that you're making. And so this one, um, $12.99 with 25% off. I thought that was a nice ring. And so I'll definitely be listing that and selling that. Excuse me for a second. I need to laugh. <coughs> I need a water. Okay. So you guys, um, in addition to thrifting this morning, my husband and I went to the quarter and um, there's this exceptionally fine antiques and fine jewelry dealer in New Orleans called MS Rau, M-S-R-A-U. And we're talking the creme de la creme, like they sell Renoirs there, <laughs> you know, like fine, fine antiquities and jewelry. And they recently opened um, a fine jewelry luxury component in a space almost adjacent to their original space. And I was supposed to go to the grand opening a couple of weekends ago. And I was like, uh, I think it was the week I was traveling and I was just so tired. I couldn't, I, I, I was like, so like out of it. It was like done. I didn't have it in me. Um, but I went to, we went today, we stopped by and whew, let me tell you, this was like, whew, this was like some next level. It is legitimately on the equivalent, I would say to Harry Winston in New York City. It was 20 care diamonds yellow diamonds, pink diamonds, fancy sapphires, pa paparazzi, like, you know, gemstones and um, tourmalines. And I mean, next, next level. <laughs> and they were the, they are the loveliest people working there and allowed me to take out all the fine jewelry, try it on, gorgeous, look at it up close. Like it was just, it was a highlight of my day. <laughs> Usually the thrifting is the highlight of my day, but a 20 karat diamond on my finger was the highlight of today's day. And so I had so much fun walking around. And like I said, they're just so lovely and they did a phenomenal job in the renovation of this space. It's so old school glamour. And when I mean that, like when you go into Tiffany's in New York City and it has that art deco aesthetic with the sweeping staircase and the chandeliers and the old school jewelry vitrines, you know, the locked cases where they store the jewelry, it's all of that. Um, so they did just the finest, most gorgeous job in the styling of this space and in the collection that they have. Lots of um, Cartier, lots of Tiffany's, um, really just really beautiful, one of a kind pieces. So. Anyway, we're gonna come back to thrift jewelry right now. <laughs> this makes me excited too, accessible gorgeousness. Um, so I grabbed this piece right here and this guy to me, it did look like um, possibly Juliana. And Juliana did have quite a bit of pieces in this, what we'll call, I think they call this a smoky diamond. I forget how they classify it. I think it's a smoked diamond is what they say. Um, with Juliana jewelry. Anyway, it, it gave me very much Juliana vibes. Uh, Juliana did do quite a bit of um, butterfly jewelry as well. And so it's very nicely crafted. And then when you we take a look at the back, 
Um, you do see what they call the um, figure eight puddling right over here. And so people are always like, well, what is figure eight puddling? It literally just looks like the person who was soldering the piece dripped the solder from one piece to the next in such a way that it almost looks like a figure eight. So you can kind of see that right there. So I will need to do a little bit more research on this. And if you are curious about Juliana jewelry, there is a website called, is it Juliana? <laughs> question mark and you can go and check it's a really nice resource um, but I will also say it shouldn't be your only resource check soul listings if you're on worth point worth points an excellent resource um, and you know what I think I think they will be moving to a kind of pay-for-play model don't quote me on this but I, I recently received a survey from them as a user and I feel like you know how you Google something, worth point will come up and then you'll be like, well, I don't have a subscription. So you'll like turn it away. I think they're going to offer soon an option for a single use lookup. So if, if it happens, y'all heard, heard it here first. <laughs> so this guy was gorgeous and $5.99 couldn't resist. It's just such a beautiful rhinestone piece. Absolutely. So I picked up that butterfly. Love him. And uh, I'm going to apologize in advance because I've been running my mouth off quite a bit during this video. But uh, I got a lot to say always, you know that. Um, I picked up this pair of really beautiful brushed gold pierced earrings with dangles here. And this one I got because it looked to me like Anne Klein. And we see right on the back that these are, in fact, Anne Klein. They have the AK logo right there. And um, Anne Klein, the reason why I pick it up is because... Uh, international buyers are very into Anne Klein and also in the international market I think you know 80s in general 80s statement jewelry is making a comeback and so I sell a lot of these big bold statementy 80s type pieces to purchasers in China purchasers buyers in China <laughs> and so uh, this is uh, explicitly why I purchased these they're in excellent condition and I also like that they're pierced a lot of folks today don't like clip-ons. They don't want to wear clip-ons. I don't blame them. They seem to be a medieval form of torture. If you've worn them, you will know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, great, great, bold, statement-y, and Klein signature. Doesn't get any more signature than that. Comfortable, post, yes. I picked those guys up for $4.99. Where else should we go from here? Let's go to a fun item. Uh, this one was kind of like a left fielder for me because... It's not marked, um, but it's adorable. This is the most adorable thing ever. It has enamel little dangling strawberries with strawberry blossoms. I don't know if those are supposed to be magnolias, but uh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at this thing. How sweet. It doesn't get any more sweet than this. In gorgeous condition. I mean, I just can see, I don't know. I feel like here in New Orleans, we would have a reason a million reasons to wear something like this. A Halloween costume, perhaps. Um, Easter parade. I don't know if you're feeling kind of fruity. Um, pride could be fun. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. I just think it's so adorable. It's in excellent condition. And this guy was, I think this one was, um, it's marked $12.99, $12.99. Yes, and then it was 25% off. So just the cutest little enamel strawberry and i don't know again you tell me if you think those are strawberry blossoms or magnolia blossoms um whatever it is i think it's just cute as hell so i got that guy i love it so much super sweet do we need to zoom in a little bit more let's see are we too far away that's better where else uh i picked up i think the market on coal uh coals on um Chico's jewelry has softened just a little bit. Uh, I used to sell Chico's left and right. It would fly out the door. And, and like sometimes I would even lot it up and I would sell these like lots of Chico's necklaces. Not that any were any kind of like extraordinary. I would sell these lots for like $65, $75, $85. Even like bidding wars would occur like for these lots of Chico's necklaces. I think it's definitely softened quite a bit. But having said that, I like this one a whole lot. You can see it's pretty spectacular. It's got this dyed halite in the gold and, and the cream color here. And this one is interesting because it says um, 
Chico's Collectibles. So I'm not sure what that is. It might be a higher end, more pricey Chico's jewelry option. Again, not sure, but I think it's a very large statement-y, well-constructed, nice looking necklace. Taking a drink again. And so for that reason, this was $4.99. I picked that guy up. So that's a biggie. Huge, huge, but very nice. More, more 80s kind of statement. Should we keep going in this vein? Um, also unmarked, but pretty brushed gold with a faux pearl kind of dangle here. This one is a clip earring. Not marked. This one was $4.99 with a 25% off. And I think these were like very nicely constructed and overall just a very nice look. Looks high quality to me. So I picked up those guys, put them right there. Yeah, so you guys are, if you're coming to New Orleans or um, plan on coming to New Orleans, um, MS Rail, it's on Royal Street. Don't think it's she, she, and you can't go in there. They are so welcoming and so lovely and are happy to indulge this girl <laughs> in all her jewelry fantasies. I'm sure they will indulge yours as well. <laughs> I got this necklace here right here and this is a, a gold filled I think this one was kind of interesting this was marked $3.99 and it's just a gold filled with kind of almost like a garnet or reddish style um, rhinestone component I, I, I like the look of it it looked very high quality if I could get this to lay flat and straight so you guys don't underestimate gold filled jewelry in the secondary market. Some people, you know, they think, oh, well, it's like not gold, it's gold filled. So, the, you know, it's not good, but it sells very well for me. I've listed quite a bit of gold filled rings, um, really nice vintage looking rings. And I think the um, necklace on this is quite unique. I think it's very interesting. So I picked this up. I like the look of it. I like that it's a bit, I don't know, modernist again just a different type of necklace componentry on here it's i don't know kind of just it spoke to me so for 3.99 um that one was a yes for me as well and so i don't think the color is coming up quite as nicely on the camera but these are really gorgeous they're almost like a garnety color so i think that's a fabulous little necklace i think it'd be great for the holidays and so um got that little guy too so if you guys are resellers, I know a lot of you are because you've told me, well, tell me how your sales are going. It's been a little bit of a rough ride on eBay. Um, they're recently they're making some changes to their algorithm and they are putting pay for click models in place similar to what Google does with Google advertising. When you Google something to improve your search rankings and um, it's putting off a lot of, you know, sellers because it's now making it so much so that you really have to pay in order for your results to be seen. Um, but I mean, it has been picking up for me, which is a good thing. Um, so I'm happy for that. Fourth quarter always usually does pick up. Anyway, I have this. This is like a little sterling silver. I think this one was 50% off. I think the white tags were 50% off, maybe even 75 they were having some hardcore sales, or I guess their version of Black Friday. Um, I just think this is really beautiful sterling silver, and it's got that Southwestern kind of aesthetic to it where it looks hand stamped, the stamping, the stamped metal. Um, you'll see this kind of application in like concho designed earrings. Um, I love a stamped metal. I love a stamped sterling silver. And I'll show you how this feels. It's, it's very comfortable on, it's super smooth. And I like that it has that wide kind of band look to it. Really, really pretty. So I thought this was gorgeous. And for half price, um, $5, I thought that was an excellent pickup. It's in beautiful condition. Um, and again, just really lovely kind of design on this guy. I like it. Very soft, very smooth. It's almost got that comfort interior where it just feels good on your finger. And so I picked up that little dude as well. And if you're wondering about um, my jewelry, I just recently had gotten a mixed lot on Shop Goodwill. I've been definitely slowing my roll on Shop Goodwill with the purchases that I make there. 
there are a couple of locations that I do continue to purchase from. And I got, I, I do purchase from one location in particularly, in particular over and over again. And in a recent lot that I got was this. And so I, this is one of those pieces I will have a hard time parting with. Um, it, it's gold, it has a gold finish on it. Um, but the turquoise on this is stunning. And so I don't know. We'll just keep, I'm just going to keep wearing it for a little while until I get tired of it. And we'll see if I feel like selling it. I love it a lot. It was a beautiful score. I was really pleased when I saw that. My husband knows. He hears me shrieking from the other room. <laughs> and then I call him over. I'm like, look at this. He like doesn't care. <laughs> um, I picked up this piece right here. And this guy was marked $9.99. And I love this a lot. I was like, this is beautiful. And this to me looks like nolan miller and it is and so nolan miller you know is an american fashion designer um did quite a bit of good fashion in the 80s gorgeous over the top big bows i, I remember big bows on his dresses also does a line did a line for qvc and so uh, i thought this was just an excellent piece of jewelry i love all of the blinginess of it just gorgeous on um a silver tone metal it also has a nolan Mil miller tag um right here and nolan miller does tend to sell continue to sell well for me so it is very collectible people are looking for it on the secondary market um as they build their collections of his jewelry it's nice quality jewelry so i got this really fabulous nolan miller necklace where should we put him here keep it all in frame so we can gaze upon gorgeousness. Um, what else? A couple of little randoms. I picked up this um, huge ass chunky, chunky, huge filigree um, bracelet. And I saw this and it was marked $5.99. And I'm like, you know what this looks like to me? And um, if it doesn't set off any kind of alarm to you, it, it should because this is Brighton. So signature with the swirls and the silver toned metal. And um, it is it is pretty heavy. It's nicely ma made. And then right there in the middle, you will see the signature Brighton B uh, right there. So, of course, let's see if we can get the light a little bit. Struggle. You all know what the Brighton Bee looks like. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, nice, really nice kind of bangle bracelet here. It is a clamper. Always like a clamper. It's a magnetic clamper. So it does have, um, the, you heard that it snaps right into place. So you can see pretty sizable bracelet right there in very, very good condition. And so I did pick up that. I'm still selling Brighton. I don't know if you guys are. I, I just sold a piece of Brighton jewelry over the weekend. So uh, it does still sell for me. People still looking for it. And so I did get that nice chunky bracelet. I got, oh, so I picked up this cat pendant. <laughs> this looks like, um, it's just a puffy cat. I think he, I thought he was adorable. My husband, when he looked at it, said that he had a man face. I don't know. Do you think he has a man face? He's got a problem with, I don't make the jewelry. I just sell it is usually what I say. <laughs> I think he's cute. Look at him. Tell me that you haven't seen some kind of proud little stinker that looks just like this sitting in the corner of your house. I have. Um, so yeah, I don't know, just fun. Uh, this one's $7.99 um, and a pretty sizable piece of sterling silver jewelry. So I picked up that guy. I've sold all matter of animal jewelry, fish, cats, birds, um, you name it. <laughs> People like their figure old jewelry. I don't blame them. It's, it's very cute. So um, one thing I did want to mention regarding sterling silver, I don't know if you're aware, you know what, I'm going to show you on this one. Uh, I use this product occasionally called um, Blue Magic. And this is the best metal polish cream I've ever used. It is exactly as the name suggests, it's magic. I've used all of the methods um, where you polish, a polishing cloth, I'm a big fan of a polishing cloth. I think they're excellent. The, where you dip into the solution to clean it. Yes, I've also used that. The baking soda, um, boiled water, aluminum foil method. Thank you, Mr. Wizard. I have also used that method. For the most stubborn, tarnished pieces of jewelry that have the blackest, almost to a point where it's damaged, look, I will bust this out. So I picked up this ring right here, and this one was um, 
marked $9.99. And this is a sterling silver, again, with the punched kind of silver look to it. You can see that there. It has um, what looks like a green aventurine stone right in the middle. Very cute. I just thought this was a great looking kind of southwestern style ring. And so I'm just going to demonstrate it really, really quick for you guys because this piece is, it's pretty much blackened. And for folks that like patina and like to keep a patina on a piece of jewelry, don't yell at me. <laughs> I like patina too. Sometimes I, you know, sometimes I also like clean, a clean silver. So I'm just going to do a little section of this to show you what blue magic does it's just so you can get a little taste of this like i said i only take blue magic out when it is the most tarnished piece you know when the simply shine cloth doesn't cut it when the aluminum foil baking soda method seems to take away the shine this is when i'll take blue magic out and so I just did really very quickly a very tiny piece right there. And I'm gonna come and close. You, you can see now, this didn't make it look like it's brand new. It really just cleaned the piece of that heavy polish and then just brought out what I think is the details in the ring. So you can see that right there. I'm probably just going to take um, the blue magic and clean the rest of this ring. And so that that's the look that you get. Pretty good. I think so. Yeah, beautiful ring. And I think that a little bit of cleaning a little bit will um, make this really bring out the details of the ring and um, will make a huge difference there. So for something that I paid, um, $9.99 or it might have been half price um, and you know is it very heavily tarnished something that other people might turn away I think will be a great little sell right there so I just wanted to share that with you guys I think this really is a fabulous cleaner it's available on Amazon um, it's cheap I don't want to say it's like maybe six dollars a tube five dollars a tube something like that um, so it, it's a great cleaner and it also cleans brass so if you have um, vintage brass pieces, you have vintage copper pieces, it cleans all of that. It does a phenomenal job on all of those metals. Uh, so I like it too. I, I use it on um, on the componentry of vintage purses. I picked up a, also this weekend, I picked up a vintage coach purse. Um, it is the, I can't remember what style it is, coach. Um, I don't know, but the old coach purses from the 70s and 80s had brass components on them and I take a little bit of blue magic I clean those right up and they look brand new so um, I use it for stuff like that too um, same thing with Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton purses um, the old bags have brass components rivets and whatnot and uh, they clean up fabulously so this little dude just charmed the pants off of me I mean not really but um ch really charmed me it's a little Victrola and it's gold tone with a, a little bow at the top and it's got little stones across the top on the side like a faux turquoise and a faux coral and I just thought this was the most adorable thing ever I loved it so much and just not something I I tend to see every day so uh it was marked $3.99 I thought it was the cutest thing ever I think it might be missing um a couple of stones but I do I do have the turquoise cabochons in the one I think one millimeter size so if it is that I can definitely pop that in and I also have the pearls in that size as well so um just such an adorable little pin love it so much I got that guy it was the cutest thing ever I'm gonna be wrapping things up guys because we're almost at the half hour mark um, I got a pair of men's uh, flirtily cufflinks, and these are in a brushed gold tone by the brand Swank. Swank was a menswear accessory designer, very, very popular. You see it everywhere, but I like the flirtily motif. Tends to sell well for me being in New Orleans. I love when local local buyers buy my stuff. It um, it just makes me very happy. So uh, I will pick up flirtily jewelry, and if it's in good condition, like those guys are, I just think they're super cute. Great little piece of jewelry. Um, yes, and what else? I do have a couple more pieces. I'm trying to figure out where to go next. What is most exciting? 
Um, I got this very cool Nefertiti necklace. And so this one has, the entire thing is just comprised of these little Nefertiti links, little Nefertiti queen head links. And I love it so much. I think this was cool. And this was marked $4.99 and just uh, very different. And let me show you up close. Guys looking like that. Just very cool. I like that one a whole lot. I don't think there's any maker on that, but uh, definitely unique. And I think I saw some comps on eBay and they were going for uh, decent money. So I picked up that Nefertiti necklace as well. So that's everything for now, you guys. I do have more. I can continue to go on, but I will spare you because you've given me a half hour of your time, which I 100% appreciate. And so I hope you all had a fabulous Thanksgiving and enjoyed your time off with your families. Um, eating your turkey and drinking your drinks and everything else, having your cranberry sauce, all that good stuff. Um, and I'm still enjoying the weekend. And um, I appreciate you guys tuning in as usual. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any ideas, further ideas on this jewelry, I love learning from y'all. Just like, um, you know, information share, I think is a highway and it should go both ways. So thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Give me a like on the way out, you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. It was great talking and chatting with you and spending this time with you and I will see you at the next one. Bye. Hi guys. If you thought this was over, I'm here to tell you that it is not. We're interrupting our reg regularly scheduled program uh, to announce a contest. And so this is basically a token of my appreciation for y'all um, for Thanksgiving because I am so grateful to everyone who has supported me um, throughout this time. Uh, you guys are like my ride or dies. You all know who you are. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it would be nice to basically put this out there. I want to offer one viewer a choice to pick out any piece of jewelry that they would like to receive from today's haul. And all that you have to do is just like this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and also leave a comment down below as to which piece of jewelry you would like and why. And I will be holding a contest drawing midweek of uh, this upcoming week. So take a last look, you guys. Lots of really cute pieces. We have Italian glass pieces. We have some sterling silver pieces, some Southwestern funness there, the Nolan Miller. If you're into sparklies, we have the Juliana butterfly brooch. Yeah, really good, fun stuff. Let me know, you guys. Comment down below. And the contest is only open to people who reside in the continental U.S. at this time. Um, but I appreciate you again, and I want to thank you for tuning in and being super supportive. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye. For real this time.